In this video, we'll look and see if C2H4 ethylene is polar or nonpolar. So we're going to start with the Lewis structure. That'll show us where the atoms and the valence electrons are distributed around the molecule. With that, we can look at shape and then figure out what the polarity is. So here's the Lewis structure for C2H4. And it looks like it's a fairly symmetrical molecule. That would lead us to believe that it's going to be nonpolar. We can also note that the electronegativity difference between the hydrogen and the carbon, that's pretty small. Again, that makes us think this would be a nonpolar molecule. But we should probably look at the three-dimensional structure just to be sure. So we can imagine those hydrogen atoms, they're spreading out as far away from each other as they can to give the C2H4 molecule its shape. That might look something like this. Here, the gray color, that's the carbon. We have two of those, and then the four hydrogens, they're white. You can see the double bond in the middle, and then the single bonds connecting the hydrogens to the carbons. Hydrogen and carbon have very similar electronegativities, so that in itself makes me think this is a nonpolar molecule. Let's see what the molecular surface looks like. So when I do this, we can see that it's a uniform molecular surface. There's no area of charge on any side, and because of that, there's no net dipole. There's no net dipole, no charge, then it's a nonpolar molecule. So C2H4, that's a nonpolar molecule. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.